A mixed martial artist from Windsor has accomplished the dream of a lifetime. TJ Laramie competed in his first professional fight back in 2015. Now, just five years later, he's made it into the UFC. With more, I'm joined live in studio by the CBC's Sanjay Mario. Sanjay, how did this all come about here? Well, Chris, it all went down last Tuesday on Dana White's Contender Series. The show features unsigned fighters facing off to impress the UFC president. Put on an impressive performance, and you're likely to be granted a UFC contract that very same night. Consider it an audition for the UFC. And boy, did Laramie pass with flying colors, earning a first-round TKO victory. But the journey of the 22-year-old didn't come together easily. It started with losing not just one, but three close family members at an early age. I spoke with Laramie about why the date of his Contender Series fight carries such a strong meaning. I was able to actually win the contract on her birthday. The birthday of his mother, who died when Laramie was just eight years old. You know, it, uh, it's just like, it's crazy how, like, all, like it all lined up for that. TJ, the truth, Laramie! The 22-year-olds used to fighting in front of big crowds. The UFC's Contender Series would normally allow friends and family to attend, but they were absent from the biggest fight of Laramie's career due to COVID-19. There's no crowd, which is something I haven't done. No walk-on music for this. There's no, like, even when you get in the cage, they're not, they don't have an announcement of your name or your opponent's name. Everything about the situation was uh, a lot different than what I'm used to. His striking coach believes the lack of fans actually helped alleviate some of the pressure. In fact, with most gyms shut down, Laramie spent most of his time training for the biggest fight of his life in his coach's backyard. So he is consistently on this growth path, and he is the one that will, he will get there because he's so well-rounded, and he listens and he works his butt off. Laramie's currently staying in Winnipeg to reconnect with his girlfriend with plans to fly home to Windsor and then back to Las Vegas where most of his training will emanate. What do you think your mom would say if she could see where you were at now? Uh, honestly, I, I don't know. You can say it's a coincidence or whatever, you know what I mean? But <clears throat> it's just stuff like that that makes me um, like think, like b believe in like being in the right place at the right time kind of thing, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, I know she'd be proud for sure. Laramie tells me he's targeting his first bout as a signed UFC fighter shortly before the end of this year, around November or December. He's also considering dropping down a weight class. Most of his fights have been contested in the featherweight division, 145 pounds, but he's also open to accepting a fight at the bantamweight division, 135. He also says not spending as much time in Windsor means his side gig as a barber may have to take a back seat, but he's still open to cutting people's hair whenever he's in the area. Chris. Thanks, Sunday. The CBC Sunday Mario live tonight.